Hi, this is the National Weather Service with a brief video update or briefing. And today we're going to talk about our precipitation in the area and snowpack, how it stacks up to normal. And also a little look ahead into when this cold pattern might end. It's been uh, much below normal in terms of temperatures and regular snow showers in the morning in a lot of valley areas. And uh, if you're wondering when this might change, we'll, we'll, we'll address that. So let's first, we'll just go to uh, our website, weather.gov forward slash Medford or forward slash MFR. And we're going to take a look at precipitation. So we have this link now, it's updating regularly. It's called the precipitation tracker. This is to give an idea on how uh, precipitation is in terms of the water year at different climate sites. So since October 1st, compared to normal, how are climate sites doing? And you can see the uh, blue bar is the normal precipitation since October 1st, what you can expect up to this date. And so for North Bend, you could expect 22.03 inches to this date and we have 24.13 inches observed. So that's about 10% above normal. And you can go through these and see where we're at. So in general, we're above normal for most of the climate sites and a few a little below normals. This December, we knew it was going to be very important. Uh, we needed significant precipitation and it, and it has delivered in terms of precipitation and, and looks like it uh, might continue into early January as well. Also, we have, uh, we use some na uh, data from National Centers of Environmental Information, or NCEI, and basically take their numbers that they say we will need in portions of our forecast area to significantly improve the drought. So these gauges represent how close we are to the precipitation needed by April 1st to significantly improve the drought. And so by April 1st, we'd like to see these in the green uh, part of the gauge as well. So you can kind of track along how we're doing at the various climate sites. Now, in terms of snowpack, since we received a lot, we can go to uh, this link here, snowfall in depth. And first we'll take a peek at the snow snowpack. This is how much water liquid is in the snow, estimated to be in the snow. and you can see we're above normal. You see a lot of uh, greens and blues, meaning normal to above normal across much of the west and the, the northwest. And there's another link. I'll, I'll add this into the YouTube comment section or the, the description section. But this this provides a little idea in, in more in uh, the Mount Chast area how we're doing. So you can see 50% uh, above normal in southern Oregon coastal basins near normal Klamath, upper Sacramento, above normal. So in general, good. we're in good shape with snowpack. Zooming on down or scrolling down here, you can explore kind of the depth in different areas. If you want, click on an area, you can see uh, the, the depth show up here. Moving down in terms of, uh, as expected, another kind of image showing much uh, above normal to much above normal for snow depth for this time of year. And then lastly, you can see kind of the country, uh, much of the country not seeing much snow depth right now, but uh, certainly the Pacific Northwest and California is showing a lot. For Crater Lake, it's uh, very exciting to see them jump well above normal with all the significant snowfall they've received recently. So we'll see what today's observation brings, but uh, uh, still expected to be above normal in terms of snow depth. Now, where, where are we trending in terms of weather? So I'm just gonna get into a little bit of model data uh, here. So if I'll try to explain it a little bit. Uh, we use this, this graph kind of tells us a lot of things. It tells us about the air mass in terms of the warmth um, and how it might affect where the snow levels might be, what type of passes or cities might be affected by snow versus rain. It tells us how much precipitation is possible and kind of the ranges and also some of the wind information. So you can see right here, we're down uh, Wednesday 
uh, morning. We've got a, a weak system moving through, but it's providing some snow showers across the area and a few inches of snow. Winter weather advisories continue in southwestern Oregon this morning, and precipitation will generally taper off during the day. And you can see the, the pink and the blue lines up here. That represents air temperature at 5,000 feet above sea level. And that's a good gauge for how cold or warm an air mass might be. So you can see this is a cold front. So temperature is actually going to cool during the day aloft. And that just means we're still in this cold pattern. You can see not really, it doesn't really change much, right, um, through uh, Friday or so. And these lines where it says Medford Sexton Pass Siskiyou Summit, if the uh, dark line of this air mass drops below that line, it suggests maybe snow could impact these areas. So still looking for relatively low elevation snowfall, um, of course, this morning, and then also with the next system, uh, Thursday into Friday, but not a lot of precipitation. You see the amounts generally each six hours below a tenth of an inch, 0.1 inches. So another system affecting mainly the Cascades, but also some potential low elevation snow uh, Thursday into Friday. Now moving into Saturday, you can see quite a bump upwards, right, in that, that those temperatures up here as they rise up, up, up here, snow levels increase, and things dry out. We're not seeing any precipitation there uh, late uh, Saturday into Sunday. But look what changes. If you go down here, these are winds, these kind of... Uh, kind of a wind rose is what we call it. And um, the point down here is where the wind is coming from. So it's coming from the southwest. And these numbers represent the wind speeds at 10,000 feet. And you can see they bump way up to 64. And these are knots. Um, so about 70 miles per hour at 10,000 feet. So very windy. Uh, the pattern changes significantly. We're looking at more significant precipitation come early next week. And you can see snow levels come back down. It cools off. The atmosphere cools off. Not as cool as it is right now, probably, um, but still some mountain snowfall. And we'll even have to watch out for lower elevation snow, maybe towards the tail end of the system as this, as this line lowers here towards that Medford level. But the general gist is changing more windy and active weather pattern coming up, more mountain snowfall, if not lower. Uh, so that hopefully gives you an idea on on where we're going with the weather pattern. So cold pattern will give up a little bit this weekend, but uh, um, and into early next week, but uh, more snowfall in the mountains expected. That is this morning's update. I uh, hope you found it useful and uh, take care and have a good day.